Welcome, welcome, guys. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I've been playing a uh, ton of Monster on the Rise. And today, I just want to showcase you a pretty good bow build that um, you can use to do some decent amount of damage even on afflicted monsters and also on normal uh, monsters. And yeah, this video is gonna be freestyle because I don't know what the end result is. The end result is gonna be that uh, build that you see in the thumbnail. So for myself, I'm making it now. So it's gonna be pretty blind, but I'm gonna try to show you the premium version and the low budget version, which, which should do a decent amount of damage anyway. So starting off with the first Gucci build. So if you see this, I don't have anything on this build. There's no skill, anything. That's what we have for now. Like nothing. I'm gonna show you the cat you need because the cat is a man gonna be a mandatory in this build because you need to buff up your damage to the max. And I'm also gonna show you how to get um, the main curio things, what for curio skills you should aim for and which is good, which is bad for the arm. And of course it's a special edition for monkeys. I'm also gonna try to make it low curio or low RNG as possible. First of all, uh, let me register this build because I didn't have. We are gonna start off with my premium build which is fully argumented with only slot upgrades so nothing special you can't get in the Kurio. Everything I got on this, uh, I showed also on stream by the way. Um, yeah, this is the premium charm. If you get a premium charm like this, it's wonderful. You can use it. It's gonna be amazing for you. But if you don't, I'ma try to make a lower version for you. So it's not gonna be any problem or anything. Maybe you're gonna miss a skill like a burst or like one stamina surge, but it's not gonna be that important. So yeah, let me equip this build. And then we're gonna start rolling for the skits. First off, I'm gonna look for a charm mod I have because we don't we want to take a bullshit. We don't want to take a bullshit charm. So let me look for a bullshit charm that I got in the lower rank that I've been farming. Let me sort that. And we're gonna go lower on the rarity. We want to aim for spread up. And if I can go better, maybe for slot also need. That is not spread up weight. I'm too dumb to use the system. So yeah, sit, uh, sit yourself back and enjoy it. set game to make. Alright. Oh. This one is actually pretty neat for the first. And the spread up level 2. Agitator with spread up is also pretty fine, but... This one, this one is keep a 1 on this. It's not that hard, it's easy, pretty easy to get. Bubbly dance. Wait, what, what do I have? The Divine Blessing. Okay, now I must stay at this. Also pretty strong, but we're gonna look for that later. This one is also pretty strong. That's the question I would personally say. We go for this one. So either you go with this one or this one, because if you go with this, uh, you can try to get weakness exploit in the armor and maybe one uh, one spread up in the armor. But science, we are having a uh, sunbreak and we are having the spread level four jewel wars where you uh, get two points uh, into spread up i'm gonna go with this because then i don't have to waste the points on weakness expert because science already have got a charm like this and i can use it pretty well but yeah nothing special just a weakness expert charm with a level 3 slot yeah all right then we can get like i don't know maybe put on a spread here and that's the first deck we're gonna use and you already have spread up level 3 and have covered the most and then I'm gonna also start making the mighty bow javel, which is a pretty good mandatory. So yeah, so we got the main base baseline for the damage. We still upgrades, and now we're gonna roll some curio. Don't use any more shit. Almost to try aim for good skills. Like I don't know, I personally like using adrenaline rush. It's a pretty fi uh, fine thing. So yeah, or you want to roll for slot upgrade, upgrades. 
Also, I'm using uh, the normal one. I don't know, like, what the fuck is this shit doing or some shit. Maybe it reduces some bullshit, but... On this piece... Oh, I can see the piece. I'm fucking... Let's try to do this. I do a random roll. Am I? We do this, we do this. Just casual. For example, like this. This one is pretty good. We're taking a one for this. Oh, holy shit, we got a free pass. <laughs> Gonna take this for the first. Make a one to it. I will not go for suicide as I said. Um, suicide is uh, another special thing. Which I do not recommend for casual at this point. I'll show you uh, yeah. Almost, if you don't know what the skills you want to get, just aim for slot upgrades. Slot upgrades are never wrong. Yep. And also try if you roll. I saw rolling like uh, me. And you have a uh, second mod. Set up like me and you don't know what to get, just aim for um, slot upgrades. Always slot with level 4 slot is insane. Did make like 10 rolls. The reason why I don't take this over this as okay, may it may gives me a wait, it's shit over all. Never mind, sorry, for stamina such. It will be in the stamina, so stamina should I would say it's not worth because we are having the level 4 javel which gives us can give us two already. So for now, we don't got any good. That means we switch up to the next part, but uh, let me lower the. Are giving me critical yeah it's only only if uh, the armor has a uh, trash kit but this armor has pretty good skills holy jesus one for this nope also blade scale is a pretty good mandatory almost on some builds too but we're having peak performance and don't we we don't need peak performance or was it wait we're not gonna stay at full life mozo. I am done. Let me try that out. I can get maybe a slot upgrade and the several good skills I can take from it. Yes and no. Not in that fight. Even if it's pretty strong because of the stamina and shit. I will personally got no don't go for it. Only if you feel comfy with this, you can take that. I would personally not. As I mentioned, uh, you can't uh, risk slot upgrades for lower skills like critical boost or some shit. It may be good if you get adrenaline rush and I don't know, maybe blade scale, but it's not worth risking the slot for it because you can get way more out of the slot as in this case. Do you know what I mean? If you roll long enough and grind your ass off, you can get the holy fucking skill like this. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Yes, it was worth it. It was fucking worth it. Fucking told you just roll the fucking shit. Uh, let me look on the Raffalos piece if we can sacrifice this glow. I would like to sacrifice Windproof. Windproof. Yeah. Making a, a one for slot upgrade if we get one. The only thing that uh, was, by the way, also good, I don't have uh, been aiming for the uh, Mail of Hellfire on skill. I was needed to slot upgrade. So I said. The level uh, 4 slot on the second and the level 2 slot which is pretty insane. So that I can make shit out of it. Yes and no. Yes and also no. But I'm making a one to it because it has a slot upgrade. As I said, the slot upgrade is the mandatory that we are aiming for. Don't care about coalescence at all. We are aiming for the slot upgrade. And also you don't want to lose any crit. Can we get lucky again is the question. Okay, we are swapping over to the other thing again. I would like to trade like get level 4 Javel maybe and uh, Blade Scale. This would be perfect. This would be so perfect. That was adrenaline. Oh fuck, I skipped the good. Let 
should have taken that. It was amazing. Oh no, fuck! That's what I told you. Reroute this. Take this. We're only going for slot upgrades. If we get, of course, pretty cool skills like we did in the. Uh, and uh, with the adrenaline rush until level 4, you can take this also. This is also a big problem. But here, as I said, if you can get the slot upgrade, just take it. Because it's fucking worth it. But not sacrificing your good main skills. For this pretty good one, because of Powder Mountain. Powder, powder Mountain is pretty good. You're making a one of this. As I said, always take two. Take one if you see you don't get better. Go with the, that one that you have. Come back later, retry. No, not at all. Not at all, bro. Not that fucking all. This one was interesting that we had now with the where we lost the constitution but got the elemental exploit and shield. This was uh, interesting. Yes and no. And now it's this it's the thing. On the other side, powder mantle is a pretty strong. It's pretty strong. But this it depends, so what does Porter Mantle level 2 gives? We try a Titcon, which is bullshit, we do much errors anyways, okay. Okay, I go for the bait, okay? It's, it's, it's dumb part. Okay. I pay the price. Also pretty good. It is, this one is pretty strong. You get a tech boost, the thing why, why it's so expensive because the tech boost is level is S tier skill and S tier skill costs a fuck ton of resources. But I won't sacrifice constitution level 2 for this. That's that's the thing. That, that's you don't want to fall for the strap. Unless you try to get a constitution in some courier, but it's not worth for like one attack boost. Maybe for the level, uh, for the slot upgrade, yes, but not for the attack boost. And so you don't get a tech boost level 7 and some some shit there. And also you can get a level 2 or 3 burst, which I think gives you more over the time. That's why I also won't use a Dango Booster in this, unless you play against normal monsters, because in the Flicket, Dango Booster don't last that long, unless you do speedrun or some shit. And when you do a speedrun, you don't use a casual. You go through still something. Alright, we don't got any better, that means we're on the chest piece. Same scenario here. We're gonna aim for slot upgrades. Slot upgrades is a mana for it. Even if you have to roll a fuck ton of long, we want the slot upgrade. The must. As I told you, we're gonna take that one for the one. Now pushing again for the better one, of course. Yes and no, not for the weakness exploit, because it's uh, good to see. I haven't tried out uh, when do you uh, use weakness exploit level 2 and level 3 when sometimes you have build like this when you have too much elemental you usually don't need that much weakness exploit since it's useless but, but now I'm gonna go with this yeah, that's how I would personally go with the build and build the build I mean not making a try hard build and don't try to make it look professional or some shit we're gonna go for it, uh, good quality and shit Just change the skills plus so far we didn't got anything it's like <laughs> 10 or 20 minutes feels like okay changing up to this for like one or two more tries but if we don't get anything it's fine for now i guess but like to maybe upgrade the last slot but i don't know i bet you can upgrade it and what it was you can if you have the level two it wouldn't work i don't know not work, as i remember Alright, so that's what we got. We got upgrade, slot upgrade, slot upgrade, slot upgrade, and as I said, fucking slot upgrade. And now we're come making the build. Starting off with the mandatory skills. We want to get a critical element and elemental exploit up first. Are we gonna start with elemental exploit? Do we have Charge Master? We don't have any Charge Master. Okay, wait, let me uh, check. Use then uh, this to also get the Blade Scale. Sometimes you want to go with Blade Scale, sometimes you don't. It depends on the situation. I like playing with it because it loves your close range coating. And if you're playing like the Water Hemi Bow um, or the Raffian Bow, which doesn't can shoot any coating, you can use that pretty, pretty well. 
And why in the fuck I don't have a blade scale? Shit. Can I craft it? Now I have. Then you're also getting charge master. Then you're getting, uh, as I said, from the upgrade, critical element. That's nice. So you have the main core crit. You want to have these three almost on level 3, because they're pretty strong. And for now, you have a bit of playroom with this. With the rest, you have a lot of playroom what you want to do. In my case, I just want to have maybe an adrenaline rush. But also, we're having weakness exploit. It's true, the way it goes like this. Ah yes, this one gives you one. Yeah, that's why you want to have a level three on this. Yeah, yeah, that's. I would say that's that's a pretty good core mandatory for the charms related. Just try to get the weakness exploit charm instead, and maybe a level three slot. So you wanna aim for weakness exploit talisman always. I guess because it's. And then we're getting adrenaline rush up, which you want to have. It doesn't show how I was playing it. Because the general, I personally like it, I use it, it buffs, a bump, a buffs and bump of your damage pretty, pretty much. Alright. Um, now in this case, we also need the elemental attack up, which I'm gonna continue now. Hey, let me look if I can get something. Is there reload speed level 2? This one I don't know by myself, that's why I'm that's why I'm gonna look for that now if you have maybe reload speed level 2 or some shit. I don't think it isn't, but we will see that. Please not, please only. Level 1, which means we have to make a sacrifice. Go on this year. Go on this here. Yes. One, only one is left. It means, um, just a quick reminder to the decorations, by the way. If you play a fire weapon, or if you play a water or an ice weapon, you need to try to get Kushala Blessing as uh, much as you can if you get like Frost Attack level, uh, Frost Attack level 5. And uh, then, if you can, and you have some rest slots, if you have a better charm, uh, try to get Kushala Blessing in because the Kushala Blessing level 2 buffs your like the 5 to 10 percent and more damage than you do more as you would. So yeah, and also the Wild Strikes was a pretty bad example for this build, um, but you can go, uh, go for it since you use Elemental Bane, but the Wild Strikes Bow works almost pretty fine. So yeah, let me take... Um, also for a monster that we want to hunt after that. The bow looks pretty fun. Oh, let me take a castle. Just an example. I'm gonna also make a bias tracks one later on. No, no uh, problem. I'm gonna explain it to you. But yeah, you want to use the element uh, bane uh, rampage decoration because it's pretty strong. Uh, for now, I might try to get um, the electro, the thunder. This because I want to spend many slots as possible. So we make the max out of the game. Nice. So we're having still some slots to do. We're having a lot of options, as I said. So um, I'm gonna go for. I would go personally now for stamina since we're having most of the core skills. Most of the core skills that I need to make this build work. That's why I'm gonna go here for a stamina search. Not wrong, it's strong. We get some in a search level 3. Here I go for maybe a constitution. Finds were pretty fine, so. I would not go for level 5. So I personally think it's not that worth. I can manage that because you don't speedrun, you're not dashing permanently, you also do skills uh, swap using bolt burst and some shit, so you do way more utility shit. Yeah. Let me use this one. That's pretty good. And yeah, that 
is basically the build that we are using to make a decent chunk of damage. Every core skill we, we could possibly match this in this game. You also got on bonus as we saw a Mel of Hellfire. Let me save that quick. For the uh, switch skills, which I'm gonna showcase now, that's how I personally play. You want to use Bolt Burst and then you want to use Hercule and Draw. The main clue is you go into Bolt Burst and Bolt Burst and swap into Hercule and Draw. You could also swap that, but I like playing like this because it fits for me like this. And yeah, signs so for myself, I'm starting engaging with the Hercule and Draw. Wait, let me drag the fuck out of the game doing. Um, yeah. Start um, going with an Hercule and Draw, because we need to wait for the kitty to proc in the Meowsing Raw anyways. Then after that you swap into Bolt Burst doing Hercule and Draw, and then uh, the kitty should Raw or some shit it comes like this. And now using Sake Trust, Absolute Power Shot and also Aerial Mom both. So yeah, that's how I personally play it. And of course for the sake of the waifuness, I'm also giving you uh, Armor build which looks pretty strong. I fucking like playing with this, looks like fucking Susano and shit. That's what we are gonna use, also the layered armor, it's uh, from the Kurio, Sinister, Risen, Risen, and Risen, so Triple Risen mix, let's go on, then the Kurio crown. Looks pretty neat, I like this, the, ha the hairs are kinda custom, so I'm sorry for that, you can use the hairs that you have in the character. Um, also link that, alright. So now for the other part, for the kitty part, I'm um, gonna go to my table because it's a bit harder to uh, explain for me in English. You want to aim for a fighter kitty, because fight kitties are really strong. And you also want to get the mandatory that you want to get, Meowsing Raw, Go Fight Win and Power Drum and Furious if you can. It's not that hard since you can filter if you go to the Body Plaza and uh, filter the scout criteria you can scout for fighting kitties which is pretty strong. And also since you have Sunbreak you have also um, the ability to swap some moves on the blue kit, which I'm gonna show you now. Also, you get to try like getting range centric and getting attack up, ranged attack up, critical up. It depends. I would mostly go for raw damage, so attack up. If, of course, if you play with two kitties, which I would not recommend, just take a dog instead of one dog and one kitty is pretty strong if you play solo. We're gonna take maybe a critical on the dog. Let me see what my dog has. Uh, it's new account, I don't have a look what my dog has so far at the moment. Um, yeah. Yes, like this, like yes, midi centric, yes, also attack up and elemental attack up. Basically, you want to push for. Also, you could use status attack up, which I'm gonna also change now, by the way. Let me give me that easier. Um, status attack, yes. That's what you want to aim mainly for. Also, you could use sleep, paralyzed poison weapon, what you like on it, it doesn't matter. It's just for your own confidence, since we're focusing mainly on making the damage with the cat and the beam. If you go to, I don't know where the fuck this was, it was on the party dojo where you could top like secret um, Yes, on the secret moves, you wanna use the Meowsing Mist, because you have a chance, on me I'm using mod for this, to set it to water, but you can get the water Meowsing Mist, which buffs buff up the hits and then you do even more damage. But as I said, sometimes you could uh, swap some skills on the cat, that you can get the perfect skills for your cat. And also you can, on this you can increase the uh, skill lesson for your bodies and change the skills like this. You're getting this uh, blue nuts by uh, doing the Meow Canaries, uh, sending the cats to the Meow Canaries. And that's how you get it. So basically you want a ferocious cat with attack, status attack, elemental attack, boost if you get and also a dog and the cat if you play, so if you play online. I would recommend you to take a cat. Either you could also take a healing cat. This works as well. And I hope the game does not crash. Hmm. Okay, no, it did not. No, it did not. No, it did not. Black. First test without any buffs, any shit, just shoot, shoot. Getting to 152, which is pretty strong. Pretty strong, pretty solid damage. Yeah. Now we are gonna go for the Jangos. Jangos are that important. And I also forgot to give you the Wild Strikes version, sorry. I'm gonna do that in the quick also. 
for the worst tracks version or if you play both like this you use your normal javel like you don't want to go ramp up this javel because it's not worth of the damage you get since the boss are already strong and yeah, i also forgot to mention always go to attack fifth five to seven elemental how you can because on the worst tracks you do the same you just uh change this to dragon and then you change this also to, uh, to dragon and then you for this you have a bit more comfiness but i would recommend you to go for like burst because with this burst you can do it oh, yeah for this you want to uh, have please please pass it there and for the dangos i personally go for marksman fighter and slugger because of uh, marksman it's uh, mandatory it's pretty strong fighter uh, it holds way longer than glutton and also the place your evade and shit so it holds way longer and also slugger in normal case if you do casual hunts you know the monster river and you know okay this is gonna be a fast one you can go like booster as second or the last and you can swap fighter but um if you don't if you're comfy and you're taking longer longs like we do we we are in this case when you have this armor you're higher normally and shit you want to go for slugger since the thresholds of the afflicted monster are fucking shit that's why you go with Slugger. And that's why I personally like this. So for now we're gonna do, I will do a crab. A normal crab. And also make sure to take enough healing because you're fucking glass cannon with this build while you do fucking damage. But not as glass cannon as you will be with a dereliction build. But you're still a glass cannon with 500 DP. This is not that great. So yeah. Take care, play good, learn a monster and you're gonna be And I took the NPCs with me. Let me restart the first. Alright. Uh, just a quick reminder if you want to take uh, weapons and dogs and shit, I would recommend you going with. Um, wait, uh, give me the. I'm gonna get the dragon off. But for Palamut gear, I would recommend you to use um, not the Sig Binder, but using uh, Wild Chains. Wild Chains and Blitzcross pretty strong. Or using uh, Sig Binder. So it's not that strong anymore since it got nerfed. But it's uh, another dimension. I'm gonna swap the dragon because I want to do um, later on a uh, ref here. We should also take the risen order uh, here the base track weapon, but for this reason. As you can see, we do a decent chunk of damage without even having a roll. So it's not that hard to do that much damage with bow if you get the right build, the right understanding. Like 48 se seconds for a normal crab. That crab had around, I'm using the HP to say, 16k to 20k HP, which is every base monster on this rank has like 30, 40k HP. So if you pass like three minutes, it's not any difficulty. Try to do an advanced pick, which requires a bit more of setup. Also, you want to buff in the right direction, which means um, you just buff uh, in the right order. Order, then you're blocking the seed, and then you're blocking the yeah, then you're blocking the dash jumps. In my case, you won't use the spawn to speedrun a T-Grex. This is just a showcase. You normally would use the spawn where he spawns in the 8. But I just want to showcase that. Also, make sure to use the endemic life utilities to buffer off your damage as maximum as you can. And as I said, you are, the speed, uh, you are not a speedrunner. You are a casual player. So, you don't, because of you don't play suicide, you need to make use of the endemic life. Smart as you can. A 
The reason why I didn't shoot the Paralyze, which I'm gonna mention now, is that I'm gonna get the Adrenaline Rush back. As I said, because of that, we're gonna get a pretty high damage. I had mount on. Okay, sorry for this. This was a bad one. Hello. If you didn't play that bad and just make the 30 minutes of mistakes, it would be way faster, but okay, it's just a shot. Like 2 minutes and 45, or like a monster that has like 30 HP. And I didn't, I didn't, wasn't even sure if the kitty had rolled or rolled or not. On this case, I'm gonna swap the decorations. you want to get DS decorations in this case. Making a compliment here, taking this, then I'm taking instead of this, I'm gonna go for interpreted part. I want to have this here. That's how I go. And also on this here. As I said, don't do a speedrun, we're aiming for normal casual times like 4 to 5 minutes in normal times. In this case, you want to start with bold burst because monsters like this are pretty weak in this shit. That's why I'm swapping my scroll also. Grabbing the wire bug, cause with casual players. Bolt bursting, swapping scrolls. Fucking up. I had to restart the game because it done some shit, I got kicked out of the lobby. leg spike. Alright. Grabbing wire back because we are casual players. So first thing. Remember we have slugger.
in this case is a bit of a bad example since we are out of him. There was a stone. Why is my game doing so shit? By the way. Yeah, wait. But yeah, Boshi is close to die. As you saw, we got a second stun pretty fast through Slugger, pretty fast. Kitty the Bushy, not even 4 minutes, if I wouldn't die like 3 minutes 50, 3 minutes 30, for a casual monster. So yeah, now we're gonna buffer this shit up. Uh -oh. And also of course you want to pick not of course bow into matchups that, that you know that you can play of course. Okay. There are some several monsters which I don't mention that uh, are pretty trash to this bow like I heard like Ragnar Ragnar Kadachi. It's pretty hard for bow. Mm. I like the fish, the Jadoros fish. Also pretty hard to do this bow. Yeah. Because you want to that you should you know, of course this matchup is gonna be more I'm taking a flick the drag. Because Rapin is pretty strong and weak against Bow. The Bow is pretty strong against him. Did I restock? I did. Right. Oh, we got the C spawn this, uh, this time. Pretty nice. Love the C spawn. As I said, use endemic life, throw the stones at her. Mess up like me, of course. Also pretty mentionable. Also using life strike throw, because it's pretty strong. So sometimes if you get that close and coding agency you also want to do the other way. Okay. Was, that was bad, that was pretty bad. So, but it's okay. We got a cool run rage out of her, but yeah. Remember, you can trap afflicted but not capture them. We're gonna use a trap now.
also um, swap between the cold and smelly coating and the uh, But yeah, as you see, it's pretty easy if you get the right matchup, use the endemic life and all the shit. Pretty fast, if I will and die, 2 minutes and 50. Pretty easy. So yeah. Can I continue? I don't know why my game was doing shit all the time. I'm pretty sorry for this, but I'm trying not to explain it to you as fast as I can. Yeah. This build, pretty solid. You can use it, try it, also adjust it. You can get, I don't know, maybe dereliction legs and I'm trying to get um, some strife in. Whatever do you prefer to take? Always try to get those spread level 3 charm with weakness exploit and shit. Always try, but go for weakness exploit as a mandatory charm. Because you need that because of the Kaiser Mel gives you weakness exploit. And yeah, always uh, aim for elemental bane, rampage um, slots if you can, use the classical ones that are recommended for the monster. And yeah, always use or aim for slot upgrades. I've showed you the build, how we made it at the beginning, and rolled also the skills. And so it's not that hard to do that much damage and rise if you know how to build and shit. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. My character does the wavy wavy and see you later have a good one hope you enjoyed the guide that's basically everything you need to know the meta sets getting updated use endemic life try to force that if you can play suicide use this build it's pretty strong um, the fight damn using rocket is a mandatory for this build you need that unless you know how to play buffer up damage and all endemic life buffs then you maybe could also swap to a healing cat with suicide but yeah not gonna i'm not gonna do a suicide build because many people done that so you can look up to that because suicide build is another case or as I using my speedruns as reference trying to get the same skills like this as the use of career editor legal spread referring to legal spread sheet but otherwise go with this build it's pretty strong for casual you don't need to try hard on suicide and you have also if the monsters are giving you afflicted aids which when you can heal up on the monster on the monster parts you also have more healing and you don't even need to waste uh, potions so it's pretty strong so yeah, practice, 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 and have a good one, guys.